Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Sifu, and welcome to the Mega Man X Community Let's Play. Hello there everybody, I'm Mr. GamePie, and welcome back to the Mega Man X Collab. Today, we're going to be taking on Sigma Stage 2. And I'm going to be starting off with a weapon that I feel is a little bit underrated, Launch Octopus's weapon. It's a fantastic homing weapon that really takes out all these annoying bat enemies right at the start right here. And it's decently powerful too, taking out these ostrich enemies, I think they're ostriches, pretty effectively as well. Alright, but yes, this level is mostly a boss rush sort of level. Oh sure, we have like these little level segments here, but uh, really, it's got three bosses and only short segments in between them. Our first opponent, Chill Penguin. Chill Penguin isn't exactly difficult by any real measure. In fact, I'd say that it's uh, quite safe to say most people start off with Chill Penguin, really. Especially given the foot parts present in his level. He's not difficult to beat, and honestly with his weakness, it really takes all the bite out of this penguin. Come on, man, you're making D look bad here. Oh. Let's see if I can even uh, get our uh, super attack going off against him. Usually I don't, but you know, it's worth trying out. Yeah, there we go. Look at how much damage that did. Beautiful. Oh, ah, and he got a hit on me right at the last possible second. Not exactly a difficult boss. All right, so onward to segment two. And uh, let's see here, what weapon do we want to use? How about this one? Oh yeah, this weapon actually isn't that strong. Now normally you can grab that right, ar right armor there, but why would I do that? I want to show off more special weapons like I always do in my videos that are about Mega Man. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, sure, we can use the... Sh well, actually, Shotgun Ice isn't really that great of a weapon, unfortunately. How about some Armadillo Power? Ah, uh, yeah! The Armadillo Power is very powerful, actually. And now, here we have uh, one of the only moments where Spark Mandrill's weapon is actually useful, as far as I can tell. The ability to have a shot that splits whenever it hits a wall just doesn't have very many places to shine in the way that the levels are designed in this game. But here, well, we have at least one moment of this being good. The only other moment that I've ever really found was in Spark Mandrill's weapon itself, or Spark Mandrill's actual level. But hey, you know what they say, birds of a feather flock together. It's time to fight Storm Eagle. And uh, notably, it looks like the time of day has changed in the background. It's all bright and sunny out outside. It's best we never took the right armor anyway, because after all, there was no uh, sunset to ride into after all. Can't be a cowboy without a sunset to ride into. So what's even the point? Next thing you know, they'll make a cow maverick, though, and it'll be a cowboy. I don't... I don't have any idea what a cow maverick would even be. Maybe, um... Earth Cow! Except later in the X series, they give them these weird sounding names. So it wouldn't actually be Cow, it'd be Earth Holstein or something, I don't know. Alright, but yeah, for the rest of the level here, we're going to be using the, uh, the, the Sting Chameleon weapon. Yeah! The Chameleon Sting. Because, hey, I do not want to deal with those shield enemies. They are exceedingly annoying. And the last two bosses are weak to it anyway. Meet Ranga Banga. Yep, that's, that's what it is. This boss also appears in X5, and even though all of its parts are weak to the Chameleon Sting in this game, in X5, each section actually has its own weakness. Vaguely related to the color that it is. The boss has three different eyes. The blue one will try to ram you, the green one will fire shots at you, and the red one doesn't appear until it uh, loses a certain amount of health. And uh, it'll try to do both of those things at the same time. Come on now. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, next next time it opens its eye, it'll be the red eye, definitely. And then there's also the nose. The nose tries to ram into you, and it, there's spikes down there, so that's difficult. And there we go. Red eye is defeated. And nose is defeated. So, yep, there you go. That's Ranga Banga. Wonderful. So, gang, I'll be seeing y'all a little bit later. Because that's right, y'all get a double feature of Mr. Game Pie. See you soon! Hey, everybody. Um... Uh... My name's Chris, Xarden22 on YouTube, and this is Sigma Stage 3. Um, I'm not part of the original VidMe community, I just actually found out about this community Let's Play thing and thought it was really fucking cool, so I wanted to be a part of it. So... Stage, Sigma Stage 3 is kind of the boss rush stage for the game. Mega Man X1 kind of functions like the original Mega Man on the NES, where the it doesn't have a dedicated boss rush stage like most Mega Man games do, but it does have them peppered about throughout the final stages, although this functions more or less as the boss rush as you fight six out of the... No, sorry, you fight five out of the eight bosses in this stage. And Mega Man X is a game I'm playing for a lot of my life, so... I am very familiar with it. Oh, got the timing off a little bit on that. Actually, I remember I, was, I wanted to do this all with the Buster. Oh, you know it's screwed. Wow, just completely missed. And get wrecked. So, so far, the two bosses we've gone through are Armored Amadillo and Stink Chameleon. I am a massive Mega Man nerd. Like, I. I love. I like the story of these games, as stupid and nonsensical as they are, so... You know, for instance, all of the bosses of this game are mem were former members of the Maverick Hunters, and basically these are X's old allies. So it kind of keeps... so it's actually still kind of in keeping with uh, the theming of Mega Man 1, the original Mega Man, now that I'm thinking about it, as... Actually, I'm gonna fight him with the Buster, because he's more fun with it. Whereas basically X is fighting old friends, you know, some you know, basically people, individuals that used to be his friends, kind of like how the original Mega Man and Mega Man One had to fight his fellow robot masters that were built by Doctor Light. Oh come on, do the punch! He's not gonna do the punch, is he? A little too late, but. Actually, here's a really cool trick. Real cool trick you can do on uh, Launch Octopus if you didn't know. If you use the, if you use Boomer Quanger's weapon, the Boomerang Cutter, you can actually take his tentacles off. There it goes. And now all he can do is just shoot volleys of the normal missiles that are left in his shoulders.
Another useful trick, if you weren't aware, is that if you dash when you fire a basic shot, it actually does extra damage in Mega Man 1. Actually, I think it does that in quite a few Mega Man games, for that matter. So, if like that, I mean, you're having a hard time getting a charge shot through because of whatever reason, you know, his missile's blocking in this instance. You know, you could just shoot a high-speed lemon in his face and let him suck on that. Uh, let's see, can I get on here without dying? Actually, similarly, you can also use the Boomerang Cutter to take uh, Flame Mammoth's trunk off. I think it's, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Like, you got to hit a certain spot with it, or if you just got to deal enough damage with the weapon in question. Again, I'm, why am I bothering with charge shots? I could just dash shot. Yeah, dash shotting does at least two points of damage, sometimes three. Now we have the actual boss of Sigma Stage 3, the Dragon Tank. I think that's what it's called. It's actually one of the few things I don't remember exactly if it's... if I've got the name correct or not. It's also admittedly one of the more annoying bosses in the dang game, in my opinion. Alright, that's BS. Oh no. What the? It wasn't! Because the room was still shaking, I got knocked off the wall. That makes perfect sense. Round two. All right, seriously, that is not fair. It's like basically just saying, hey, don't touch the walls. Walls are bad. Also, the fully charged shot in this game, ow, has some strange properties to it. Let me go ahead and use one of my sub-tanks. And if you notice I don't have, like, the max amount of health or full sub-tanks, it's because I did a run- I actually did a run up to this point, and... Eh, I didn't care enough to go back- to backtrack for anything I couldn't get in the first pass. Alright, and that's the end of Sigma Stage 3. Uh, like I said, I'm Exarden22. Take care, everybody, and enjoy the final boss of the game. Hello there, buddy. I'm Mr. Impie again, and it's time for the end game. There's not much to this level. Just a big vertical shaft here with a couple enemies you can grind for health in case you need to fill up your sub-tanks. And then, the final boss. We've come a long way here, collectively as a group. But it's time to finish off Sigma, once and for all! Except there's gonna be another 3X games, and Sigma's gonna be the villain of, like, all of them, except the 8th one, sort of. So, yay!
Oh, Sigma, always taking care of his pets. <laughs> Oh, please. I'm Mr. Game Pie. I never disappoint. Alright, so here we have Sigma's dog. And it is entirely unpredictable as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I can never figure out where this thing's gonna jump onto a wall or shoot some projectiles or what the hamster it's gonna do. One thing I do know is it does have one flame breath attack that looks like uh, the attacks by the hot dogs back in Woodman stage back in Mega Man 2. So, you know, dogs, they breathe fire of that particular pattern that we didn't actually get to see because it died too soon. We didn't take too much damage in the first phase, so that's good because there's three phases in all. Almost, you say? <laughs> oh boy. I don't think I will. Fun fact about Sigma, he's always weak to the electrical weapon of the game. Unless there is no electrical weapon of the game. I think this might have to do with something about uh, how all the Reploids were made with Mega Man X's uh, schematics. Because uh, in the very first Mega Man game, uh, Mega Man actually took like, he could only take three hits from Elect Man. He was super weak to that guy's weapon. And all throughout the classic series, the classic Mega Man has always been weak to electrical weapons. Even all the way up to Mega Man 10, where like all the boss damages were like consistent among all the robot masters. Sheep Man, the electrical robot master of Mega Man 10, still did precisely one more damage than any other robot master in the game. So since all the Reploids are made using X's statistics, well, it makes sense that they would be weak to electricity as well. At least, that's how I logic it, anyway. Also, Sigma really doesn't do a whole lot as long as you stick to wall jumping. And now, here we have the final phase. Where Sigma merges with this rat thing in the background, I guess. And uh, the thing about uh, this thing is that you really want to stay on the hands. But uh, it, the lightning bolts that the hands produce can make that quite difficult sometimes. And I'm actually going to be using some sub tanks here because boy oh boy, I was really wanting to get through this without using any sub tanks at all, but uh, practice runs indicate that's just not even remotely possible for me to do. So uh, here we go, sub tank time. Okay, yeah, great, just get immediately knocked off. A lot of people have difficulties uh, dodging the little electrical ball attack, but as long as you dash right as soon as the middle one passes you, it's not too difficult to handle. Oh, 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 okay. That's weird. The This game feels like it has sort of an odd stickiness to it overall. Which, uh, yeah, makes this as a whole a little bit more difficult than I was expecting. I'll freely admit, I typically play the Classic series far more than the X series. But still, even so, it, it certainly helps knowing Mega Man in general whenever it comes to, you know, playing these games. Oh, jeez. Here we go. Get a little nice little dodge there. Nice little- oh that, oh, that was way too early. What the hamster? Oh, and then just get coated in fire. That's good. I typically try to wait for the hands to come down to me, because I find that if I try to jump on the hands uh, from below, I typically just get caught. And another sub tank. And there we go. That's it, that's the game. Sigma's been defeated. Uh, Mega Man X was the original. He's why you're Reploids. You're replications of him. <laughs> Imperfect replications at that. And there we go. Sigma has been defeated. 
for the first time. He'll come back many more times after this with brand new weapons and other different ridiculous forms. But for now, Sigma is done. Goodbye, giant floating island of technology. We knew you well. And hey, time for uh, some epilogue stuff. The war is ended for now, and peace is restored. But yeah, this definitely set the tone for the X series pretty solidly. The classic Mega Man series was all pretty lighthearted and fun stuff, you know. There was a, maybe a little tinge of darkness here and there, but nothing severe. But man, the X series starts off by introducing you to Zero and killing him off right away. And then they bring him back and, and they kill him off again. And then they bring him back again and then I'm sure that he dies another time or two. But yeah, it definitely sets the tone pretty intensely. I'll always prefer the classic series over the X series. But you know what? This has been fun. I'm glad that I've gotten to work together with all of y'all. Everybody who, you know, came together to work on this project. It's great. I love being parts of stuff like this. And hey, hopefully we'll get to do it some more. But yeah, with that said, everybody, I'm Mr. Game Pie, and I'm just going to leave y'all off with uh, Nathan here as he finishes up the series. Y'all stay sufficiently awesome. And that concludes the second VidMe Community Let's Play. And I really appreciate everybody who partook in this. Really, it it really means a lot to me that you guys came together and pulled through for me on this. Uh, I'm so glad that you guys were able to do this, and I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. There were some you guys had some really great clips to contribute, and you know, I uh, I wonder if we should do another one of these. Uh, if if we should do another one of these. What game do you guys think it should be? You know, let me know in the comments down below. And if we do it again, I think maybe we should uh, maybe relinquish the title of VidMe Community Let's Play, and maybe it should be called something else. I don't know if it would be the... I don't know, we'll have to... May, you know what? Maybe, maybe come up with the name for the next one as well. Or if you think I'm mistaken and you think it should keep the same name, let me know that as well in the comments down below. And also, even though I would be absolutely happy to host the next community let's play i think i should also open things up and uh, invite others to uh, to do this as well if they feel so inclined to to host a community let's play themselves you know that way they can just they grab some game i don't know maybe it's another nostalgia you know blast that they want to experience another another classic that they want to relive and they want to do that through a community let's play but anyway i once again, really thank you guys so much, and for anybody uh, who wants to follow any of the players in this in these videos, uh, just look in the description down below, and uh, there will be you know links to everybody who partook in this, and you know do do everything you know fo follow them on their on their YouTube or their their BitChute or your, their PewTube or whatever 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 it is they got follow do all the followy and likey things just do, do it all do do all the stuff uh anyway that is it for this uh this community let's play and i will see you all in the next game <laughs>